welcome. We appreciate you all coming to hear our prepared community statement. Uh, we will not be taking any questions tonight uh, since this is not our investigation, um, but I would like to tell you who will be um, speaking to you this afternoon. Uh, we will have Mayor Pat Eklund, who will be reading our statement. With her is Mayor Pro Tem Denise Athis and Councilmember Pam Drew. Council members Eric Lucan and Josh Friday are unable to be with us this afternoon. And then Captain Jamie Knox will um, speak briefly after the mayor's prepared statement. So thank you very much. And if I could ask uh, my council members to please come up, and Mayor Eklund, if you could please come up and read our community statement. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Pat Eklund, and I have the honor of serving as mayor of the city of Novato uh, this year. The past two days have sent shockwaves throughout our town of Novato. As a peaceful and a safe community, these crimes are not a normal occurrence in our town. The fact that these crimes involved youth in our community is absolutely devastating. Our condolences and prayers go to the families and friends of these two young people. One who lost his life to a senseless act of violence, and the other who is now recovering. Violence will not be tolerated in our city. Any life lost is one life too many, not in our town. As a city, and on behalf of the entire city council and the community of Novato, I can assure you that the Novato Police Department has been and will continue to work with the Marin County Sheriff's Department to bring all of the persons responsible for this crime to justice. The Novato Police Department has been assisting the Marin County Sheriff's Office in their investigation every step of the way. Within 24 hours of the crime, the Marin County Sheriff's Office and the Novato Police Department apprehended two of the wanted suspects, and an active statewide manhunt continues as we speak. We want to first thank all of the first responders, the Novato Police Department, the Novato Fire Protection District, who responded so quickly and aptly. They joined forces to control and to really minimize this tragic loss that occurred in our town. The coordinated response was swift and seamless. We are so fortunate in this town to have well-trained professionals who are prepared at a moment's notice to step forward, risking their own lives and their own safety to protect the lives of others. Additionally, the Nevada Unified School District has been working very closely with our police department, not only on the investigation, but also on the safety of their students and staff, which is the utmost of priority. They promptly closed Nevada High School, as well as put Linwood Elementary on a lockdown yesterday while the Nevada Police Department conducted an active search. Both the, the Nevada Unified School District and the Nevada Youth Center are offering drop-in bilingual counseling to students, staff, and their families. And if there's anyone in the community that needs that, I urge you, go to the Nevada Youth Center, that those services will be available. You know, our community has responded in true Nevada fashion with empathy, with concern, and with our community in our mind and in our hearts. This spirit sets the tone for the days and the weeks to follow and will help us heal all together. We stand united as one Novato to keep our town, our children, and our community safe. We are committed to that, and we know that all of you are standing with us. The Novato community will not tolerate 
wrongful acts of violence, not in our community. As we learn more about the facts of this crime as we move forward, we're going to work with the community to respond as needed. You know, the future of our city, of our town, continues to shine brightly. And this tragic event will serve as a reminder of the strength and the resiliency in our community, but also the value of everyone's lives. Since this is an active investigation, any questions should be directed to the Marin County Sheriff's Office. And I did want to thank all of you for coming here and for um, following this so that we can make sure that um, any suspects um, that need to be apprehended uh, will be caught. We need your help. Thank you all very much for coming. I'd like to introduce Captain mayor, Knox. Uh, should, should parents be afraid to send their children to school on Tuesday? Uh, absolutely not. And Captain Why? Knox will go. Why? Captain Knox will go into a little bit more detail um, about how we're working with the Nevada Unified School District. But they, shouldn't you, as mayor, tell us a little more than just that? If this is if this is worthy of a press conference like this. Mm -hmm. um, Shouldn't parents, I mean, this doesn't happen every day in the It's not right. a normal occurrence at all. This, and the fact of the matter is we work very closely with our school is this district. Is this and, random? you know, is Captain this Knox random? will be able to talk more about the statistics. So I thank you so. very much. Thank you. The Nevada Police Department is working closely with the Marin County Sheriff's Office in their investigation. And because this occurred in the Sheriff's Department's jurisdiction, we cannot comment on any particulars of the case at this time. So but I do want to, excuse me, but I do want to thank the Marin County Sheriff's Department for their swift action and their professionalism. Uh, we know that this community is in good hands. We work very closely with the Sheriff's Department and we thank you all for coming today. Thank you.